In this video today, we are going to be blending every flavor and type of Krispy Kreme donut. Mm. This is disgusting. Three, two, one. So ever since I was a kid, I always watched cartoon programs such as The Simpsons and you got Homer Simpson. Oh no, fuck this. In this video today, we are going to be blending every flavor and type of Krispy Kreme donut. And when I say that, I just mean these 12 because that's all they had to offer at my local Krispy Kreme. I asked for more, but this is the 12 they had an offer. Alright, so these are the 12 donuts we have from Krusty Kreme. Krusty Kreme, this is not Krusty the Crab. From Krispy Kreme donuts, I'm definitely not being sponsored by them, let's be honest. That is bad presenting right there, I'm sorry. There's a smear and it does not look good. Uh, and also, yeah, there's a bit of problems there. And then, ladies and gentlemen, in order to blend these 12 delicious donuts, uh, we have got a council estate blender. That's right, your typical blender you got from your nan's kitchen, uh, Kenwood. But actually, it's rubbed out, so it says Nwood. Also, we're not just going to be putting in these and blending them. We're going to be properly tasting these as well, because we want to see the variety and taste behind each one. And we're going to be rating them out of 10. Obviously, some here are duplicates or dupl duplicates. All right, comments don't go off of me. All right, so this one here, ladies and gentlemen, is cherry pie. I'm actually not a fan of cherry, so I might not enjoy this. All right, I'm gonna chop this up because we're not gonna use the whole thing because they physically all won't fit in the blender. That is, that is, that is, that is clean perfection right there. No, you thought I was gonna lick the knife there. Health and safety, kids. I say that whilst holding a massive knife. All right, so this, we've got to put everything into this cup here for now. So we're going to have a bite of this first. Surprisingly, it's actually quite nice because it's not full cherry, but there is bits of cherry inside it and on the top, which I'm not really a fan of. I'll probably give this, if I'm honest, a 5 out of 10, but it's going to go in. Right, so the cameraman behind me is actually eating half of the rest of the donut, so you'd be better paying me for this job, I'm not paying you. Now this one's called the Dream Chocolate Donut, everyone, and it looks tasty, everyone loves chocolate. Unless you're like some sort of vegan. <laughs> so we're going to cut this in half, we're going to put quarters in because we realise that it's n it won't all fit in. Oh, this is a tough one to do, there must be, oh, lovely cream inside there. Quarter, in it goes. Right, we're gonna have one bite of this though. Mmm. Oh. Woo! That one's at least. I don't speak. This one's at least. At a seven. Seven. Seven out of ten at least. This one is Lotus Biscoff. I've seen it on the back already and you can see. And I love a bit of Lotus Biscoff. Of what? I don't know how you say it. This one's interesting because it's got the design. I'm not talk about the art and history behind this. Born in 19s, it wasn't born. Uh, well, I don't know when this was made, but it's got some white chocolate on top. The, uh, the Biscoff, Lotus Biscoff, and inside it, I think some caramel in it as well. Let's cut this bad boy open. Oh, that does look nice. It actually has like white or some sort of thing like vanilla -y cream inside. All right, so we're gonna have a bite of this now. Nine out of ten. That's all I'm saying. Nine out of ten. The biscuit on top does it justice. Like the cream and the biscuit. I'm a fan of things going together in general. Like dipping your French fries, McDonald's chips, um, into uh, McFlurry. Yeah. But uh, that's irrelevant. This is nice and the mixture is good, so that is going in. The thing, the annoying thing as well is that I'm actually going to gain so much weight from this, and I'm trying to be on a diet. You know how you know diet starts tomorrow. Diet starts Monday. Uh, yeah, forever going on. Alright, so this next one smells delicious and I'm a big fan of caramel. Comment down below as well what your favourite flavour of any sort of donut, whether it be Dunkin' Donuts, Krispy Kremes, or just your average supermarket donut be. This one is the caramel iced ring and you can't go wrong with an iced ring. It's plain in the middle and it's got a lot of sugar. I mean, a lot of sugar. Ooh, this one's going to look good. That is, it's just so satisfying cutting it open like that. Alright, so we're going to have a bite of this now. Mmm, the caramel. Caramel makes it so nice. I'd say 8.5 8 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10, and it's going in the blender. Bang! We might need to actually squash these down a bit so we actually have more space. Or oh, I might just be stabbing it here. I'm actually loving this video. I'm actually loving it. <laughs> like this video if you want me to do more videos like this, because although I'm on a diet and I want to get healthy for the summer, um, I also just love eating. 
We're obviously not gonna do this one again because we've already done this one at the start. Now this one is called the Nutty Chocolate Donut and it looks very nutty itself. I mean, it's got some sort of hole in it. It's got an arsehole inside of it. Uh, so, I mean, it's gonna look weird eating it, but it's got nuts in it. I'm not the biggest fan nuts that nuts as most males would be, but uh, we're gonna go in for a bite. Oh, this one's quite tough, you know? I don't know what's inside it, but that one was very tough. Oh, it's a lot of chocolate. It looks like Nutella. I'm not sure. <laughs> It's got nothing to do with the video, but comment down below. Do you say Nutella or Nutella? Type in one in the comments for Nutella and two for Nutella. All right, so we're going to have a bite of this now. It literally is... I mean, the chocolate is definitely nice. Mmm. Yeah, that's Nutella. Or Nutella. That is nice. In the blender, ready? Colby. <laughs> Actually brilliant. We're just eating and getting views from this. Now, but on a serious note, I'm not getting any money from this. So hit that subscribe button, like below, share this to your fam family, your friends, your plant, etc. Next, we have the salted caramel cheesecake donut. A lot of words there to say. Um, or maybe that's just because I'm an English dropout from college. But anyway, regardless, salted caramel uh, cheesecake donut. Uh, you can see already the cream inside it. You see the biscuit on it. Uh, I, I hate that. Don't, don't, comment down below. This is a relatable subject as well. When you mix stuff together or have anything together, i.e. food or desserts, the chocolate is on this and it's going to ruin it because some things are like mixed but some things are don't. This is another one that's tough, tough again. Oh, this is one. Okay, so now, now this has got chocolate in it. All right, we're going in now for the cheesecake. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. It's all right. It just tastes. It just tastes quite bland for some reason. I'm not the biggest fan of cheesecakes. I mean, they're all right, but there we go. I'm gonna give that one a six out of ten. Like it was. It was tasteable. It was edible, of course. Yeah, it's food, but it just wasn't my type of food. All right, this next one is a banana cream pie. That does not sound like my cup of tea or my cup of my loaf of bread cake. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Either way, I hate. I, I love eating bananas. Yeah, that, that, all right, forget that. I love eating bananas, but anything with bananas in, in it, I eat milkshake. I don't like, so I'm not sure I'm gonna be a fan of this. Ooh, that one's quite soft, you know. So that's the banana inside. Oh, this is. I don't know if it's gonna be nice. Three, two, one. Oh, uh, oh, uh, right from the fish here. No, I don't even want to put this in. It's that bad. This is disgusting. Well, we're gonna have to put it in anyway. Now, although this donut just looks chocolatey, I feel like I'm trying to sell you this. It's, this is actually a chocolate cream donut. So it's got cream in it. Um, or no, chocolate custard donut, rather. Uh, it's got custard in it, so this is gonna be tasty. I can't wait to see what this actually looks like inside. Yeah, it's, this is soft. Oh, that is lovely. That is what I love to see. I need something refreshing after that banana one. I hate that. Three, two, one. <coughs> Oh, it's just lovely. It's just lovely. Right, this is going in. This, we're gonna have to literally push these down at this point. Oh, chocolate sprinkled donut. Probably the most traditional donut you see Homer Simpson or anyone in movies have. It's literally just glazed with a load of sugar, basically, and they've added a bit of sprinkles on top. Ooh, this one's gonna be nice. This one's gonna be nice. The custard one, I'm gonna have to give that an eight out of 10. I'm not gonna lie, it was nice. All right, so this is the sprinkled donut. Mm. I'll have another bite. I want to eat all of it. Nah, this is this is honestly good. I'm gonna give it some nine. And it's going straight in there. All right, our last contendant, yeah? And these are contenders right here because this one, we've already done this one, is the traditional, the original glazed donut. Like this is the most plain you can get, full of sugar. Um, let's go. That's very nice and soft. We're gonna go in for a bite. Mm, you can't, you can't go wrong. Honestly, that's going in as well. You can't go wrong with that. All right, honestly, that one is a 10 out of 10. Like, you can't go wrong with the traditional. Everything original is the best. All right, so we're gonna put this in the blender now. We've got a lot in there. It doesn't look like a lot, but when it's blended, it's gonna be a lot. But also, we wanna make this into a sort of drink rather than just moshed up like donuts. So we've got some milk. We're gonna put milk in it because a lot of these contains milk. That's how you make yeast. Fun fact for you there, kids. Don't tell me I'm not educational. Here we go, pouring the milk in as well. That that should be about enough. That should, oh, let's put a bit more. That does look tasty, but I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look appealing now, but you can see like the chocolate, you can see the chocolate there, you can see the caramel, this is gonna be tasty. All right, so 12 donuts narrowed down to one 
glass essentially in here. We're gonna, we're gonna turn this on and hopefully it's just gonna be a nice, like, tasty donut-y milkshake. So three, two, one. Oh my god, I feel like it's gonna explode. That's not right, I feel like it's gonna explode. Oh my god, I think that's, you gotta rev it up a bit more. All right, so, no, come on. Alright, one more. <laughs> Alright, people at home are getting I'm getting annoyed now. Do not click off the video. So somehow it's actually blended. I mean, I'm saying somehow, of course, it's gonna blend anything. But this actually looks like some sort of drink as well. We're we'll gonna be pouring it into this glass and having a sip. But hopefully this is I mean the calories are in this. I don't know. Predict in the comments what the calories are. There's something like a, a quarter of a mil. Alright. Oh um, on a real smell that, smell that. How nice is that? That's, it just smells like cream and caramel, which it looks nice. It's got the texture of caramel. I thought it'd be more chocolatey air, if that's the word. But right, let's go. Ooh, that looks nice. That We're gonna put it all in. We're gonna go with it all in. We're going rogue. That looks nice. I mean, if I served you that at a restaurant, I mean, you probably wouldn't drink it, but I certainly would. All right, we're gonna go. We're just gonna go straight in. We've got a good whiff of it and it's nice. It's got a good texture to it. It's like a thick milkshake. So three, two, one. Oh my God. That, that is amazing. Like, I'll tell you one thing though. I just had a rush of just feeling like sick. Like, I feel full. I had one sip and it felt like I'm eating 10 donuts. 12 donuts, which is exactly what it is. That is really nice though. I'm sorry that you guys cannot taste this, but try this at home, obviously in a safe environment. Again, it's just like, it's just got that nice thickness and it's a little bit like, has little bits in it you can taste. The good thing about it is that I can't taste a banana. Everything else outshine the banana because if it tasted like banana, I would not like this. <sighs> Thank you guys ever so much for watching me blend these 12 donuts, every flavor that I can find in my local store anyway, of Krispy Kreme donut into a blender. I actually love making these videos as well. Because I get to eat, we're having fun. I hope you guys are having fun. If you are, hit that like button, subscribe down below, join the Insingi Nation. We're striking our dreams. We're climbing to the top and we don't take no L's. No, we don't take no L's. No, we don't take no L's. I would appreciate it if all of you could comment down below what other food adventures I should take on next. Thank you guys ever so much for watching and I'll see you guys in a bit. Run, 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 run.